Oh yeah, somebody linked this. This is f dude. Cartoon Network Studios, as you know it, is gone, thanks to David um, Laslov. It's consolidating into a single unit with Warner Bros. Animation, and this is huge news. It's also an ominous sign for the future of new original Cartoon Network animation. Everything we love, everything good, is now unprofitable. Everything now has to cost $5 to make, and it has to be released on every streaming service uh, in a single episode block. It all, it all has to be done on a shoestring budget. Uh, nothing gets to be funded anymore unless the celebrities like shelling out for it. Yeah, we're getting ready. The one American company. Man, when Disney acquires Warner Bros. and the government inevitably doesn't do anything about it, it's over. Yeah, AmeriCorps. Streaming has been so f***ing bad for original animation and stuff. It's been so bad for a lot of creative things. It's for, for like creativity in general. The problem is like it's so easy to watch stuff and there's so many different things you can watch and it's like you make so little money back for the ad or like like um um subscription revenue proportion to people watching your shit that like na the the market is like optimized right now for 10,000 shitty projects that go nowhere rather than consolidating resources into a couple that are like good, you know? Um streaming is really fucked things over. I don't know. I think one of the problems is that streaming is too cheap. Streaming is too cheap and there are too many streaming services, right? Like TV, everything was consolidated into net, like network cable. And then it was ad revenue for the, the, the channel itself. And it wasn't competing with the internet back in the day. But now everyone watches everything online, which means that like streaming, like if people are just gonna torrent if it doesn't work. Fuck, what happens? What happens when the point of consumption for new media is so cheap that it's no longer possible to make things? Maybe every once in a while something gets big enough that it, it earns back its, its production cost, but like that's not a guarantee. In fact, that might s soon be like the, the, the rarity. Um, man, I don't know. I don't, I don't actually know what the solution would be for this. I could say stuff like, you know, government, like, de decommodify, government subsidy, whatever, and, I mean, maybe to an extent, but I'm trying to think, like, what, what real solution? There's stuff funded by Patreon? Yeah, but Patreon and Kickstarter are fucking terrible ways of getting stuff off the ground, you know? Like, they, like, making a good Kickstarter page is not making a good product and people fall for that shit all the time. Like people will just come out with like a cool trailer or concept and people will lose their minds and then like nothing actually gets done, you know? Um, it's just not reliable enough. And then there's the other way around where really good projects get no funding. Like the Five Nights at Freddy's Kickstarter got zero dollars and then he just fucking made the game anyway. Also keep in mind like making an animated series is incredibly difficult and complicated. Like the amount of animation it takes to make a series is so, 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 like, so high, you know? It's like how Sandman was the number one Netflix show for a while and got a lot of viewership, yet might still not get a season two. Yeah, and like, what are you supposed to do with this? Sandman, which I enjoyed quite a bit, by the way. Um, Sandman has still not gotten renewed for a season two, despite it being a um a really 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 popular netflix series neil gaiman who co-created co the show tweeted earlier some potential reasons here what sandman season one the data harvesting is only just finished it's complicated by a lot of people not binge watching it but spreading it out letting episodes sink in before watching the next telling netflix to hurry up will make decisions happen faster so literally it's like it was number one on netflix but Neil Gaiman, this legendary artist, is like tapping his fingers together, like waiting for Netflix to pull together the analytics to see whether or not it's worth making another... Se like, this isn't a, a viable format for, um, for creation. I don't know. Also, dropping everything at once is shit. Absolute shit. And anyone who disagrees with me can feel free to walk into the ocean, okay? One episode per week, or maybe two per week, whatever, but like doing it episodically is so much better because it allows time for people to develop a fandom and a reaction to what's happening. Nothing kills hype more than like a season of something being good, and then you wait a year, and then like the second season drops, and then on the subreddit, it's like, 
season two react bread and you get like three days of interest and it's gone there's no intrigue there's never like a cliffhanger it's never like oh what will happen next episode people freaking out with like speculation interest nobody has this this binge watch media culture um has made people lonelier because one of the few good social things about the internet is the ability to form shared fandoms that's not always a good thing but whatever um and when you binge watch stuff when stuff is binge dropped that can't happen it, it, it can't because people can't like talk about what'll happen next. It's like oh well, what'll happen next season you know um so this avenue for social growth just does not happen anymore you know um god you guys cannot when breaking bad was first airing and now breaking bad is like insanely popular and everyone knows about blah, blah blah when breaking bad was first airing the fucking sweat beating down the the foreheads of everyone uh like episode to episode like the whole time like <sighs> like it consumed people's thoughts for years which is good because breaking bad is really good and it's worthy of that attention it deserves that attention yeah house the dragon is doing episodic and people care more about it for it if it just dropped all one day nobody would fucking care um like you can actually go um reddit breaking bad here because i remember reading these hold on we're going back in time real quick reddit's been around for so long uh if i go to discussion in the search bar here um now uh season four episode nine will that do it oh no that's the bug episode People don't care about that one. Episode 11? Well, I love the bug episode, personally. Yeah. Episode 11 is Crawl Space. Discussion? There it is. Okay. This was 11 years ago. Reddit was not as popular back then. It just wasn't. But 11 years ago, this single episode release has over a thousand comments in it. Um... And people are losing their mind over it. And this was every episode. And it wasn't just this one thread, but all the threads after that. And the discourse everywhere, on Twitter, all over the place. People cared. And then they cared again the next week. Um, but now, it, now it's just like, oh yeah, season react thread. Whatever. No, I don't think there's anything wrong with waiting till the season is done to binge the whole thing, if that's how you prefer to consume it. But I think that's the thing. If things release episodically, people still have the ability to experience it as a binge show by waiting for it to be done than watching it. But uh, if everything is dropped in, a, in, a, in a, a binge format, season at a time, you do not get the ability to experience it episode by episode. That uh, cultural... Um, uh, that that cultural uh, 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 formatting is 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 gone. Yeah, JoJo's hype got killed as well by this stupid fucking like block dropping. Nobody likes this. Fine. Aren't weekly episodes more profitable than season dumps? The problem is everything is geared towards convenience right now. Um, that's the main issue. Conve like convenience, like it's like oh well, why make them wait when they could just get all of it right now? You know, it, but but that's not that's always work. You know. I did enjoy the. Chainsaw Man episode, which, thank God, is re releasing serially. Oh, hey, by the way, another reason why anime is popular, by the way, is because anime television release schedules are almost always episodic. Um, and for that reason, it, there's time for a community to build around it. God, it, the, the, the um, fame that series like Attack on Titan have, I promise you it would not exist if they dropped in, in season batches. One Piece? I'm not watching One Piece.